Hello and welcome to Toby's Blogs. Um, run those titles. You've been flowing around like a butterfly, but I'm gonna pin you down. Cause you've been found and convicted of a serious crime. Caught in possession of this heart of mine. And I'm locking you away for a long, long time. You're guilty, guilty, you're guilty of Right, hello, welcome to Toby's Blogs. Um, today's blog is talking about my trip. Right, um, my trip, I went to London with my parish priest because I um going up there to do a mass. And it was in Westminster Hall, so a very posh venue for the Methodists. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, Methodists. From what I can see from Methodists, they're a bunch of idiots. Uh, so about my voice, it's changing for some reason. Um, uh, yes, um, so, uh, the Methodists mass. So I went up there on late on the Sunday night, got there and stayed with this priest. And we stayed in his house in London, we went for a spaghetti bolognese, you know, Italia restaurant. And, um, we looked round the church there, and it was a beautiful church, one of the most beautiful churches you've ever been. It's got upper bits, so you can walk round the whole of the upper section of the church and look down. It was absolutely beautiful. Uh, it was in um, Kilburn, in London, and it was brilliant. And then we, and in the morning, we got up and we drove uh, through London, which was absolutely fantastic. I love, I've never drove through London before, and it was brilliant. You can see all the sides I drove past Marble Arch, Hyde Park, Madame Two Swords, and my priest was pointing out all these bits that was uh, good to look at. And um, uh, yeah, it was brilliant. And then we got to the Mass, which we stopped off at this place to collect some chalices and ciboriums. And, um, and we got to the Mass. Right. Beforehand, I'd been briefed about how stupid Methodists are. For one, they have no idea what things are. And I discovered that. After being told that, I discovered it tremendously when I got there. It was like, I was in charge of setting up all the communion stations. So I was setting up the ciborium, and I was setting up the chalices. If you're so stupid in religious terms, you don't know what those two words mean. And a ciborium is like a holder, it's like a cup, which you put bread in, and it's got a twisty kind of lid, so you can get the bread out of it. It's called a ciborium. And chalice is what you put the uh, the wine in for communion, and I was made to set them all out, and I had these secure these guards who were really Methodists. They work as Methodists. Like, oh, what's that? So there's communion. He goes, oh, what's those little white things? They're hosts, the bread. I goes, oh, what's that? He goes, is that holy water? I goes, no, it hasn't been blessed yet. They keep pissing me off. And then I went upstairs to do the same, set up the communion station upstairs, and they were like, what are you doing with this table today? And I was like, I'm putting out communion. He goes, oh, very boring, very stupid, Methodists. They don't, apparently they just pass a cup round the whole, the hall. They must take ages, so stupid. It's annoying. So after leaving the... Oh yeah, there's one thing. When I popped in to have a look at their mass, it was like, they were like, they were going, putting their hands up like this, and I thought, is this a mass, or is this like a Nazi reunion party? And they were like, praising the Lord with one hand. I'm like, what are, why are they praising one hand? Like, like, oh yes, we're praising the Lord with one hand up. It's like, it's a Nazi salute here. It was like, why are they just putting one hand up? I've always been taught if you're praising the Lord, you put two hands up. Like, oh yes, I'm praising the Lord. Not, 
and a brazen the Lord. Or maybe it's a Nazi salute. Why one? We're going to put two up and praise. Now that is a praising motion with your hands. That's praising. That's just... I'm putting my hand up. Excuse me, priest, bishop at the front. Can you come and talk to me? Idiot. Why are they putting one hand up when they can put two and praise more bitter? Right, so then after that, a long drive to Walsingham. And Walsingham. We stayed there the night in this beautiful cottage. The thing is, I got there. I got to this room and it was fully occupied. And I was like, does someone live here? And the priest was like, no, we don't live here anymore. And then he had all his clothes out on the clothes rack. He had his shoes, three pairs of shoes underneath the radiator. He had this award thing that was awarded to him, still there. All his drawers were full of socks and pants and things. He had his earplugs um, by the side of the bed. He had all his beauty products, toothbrush, etc. around the sink. If he doesn't live here, why did he take all his stuff with him? Obviously, he's dead. And my, my priest didn't want to tell me because he didn't want me to worry. But I bet you he was dead because you was really moving. You don't leave all your things behind, do you? you? Must have died. Weird. We got up in the morning. Went to Norwich for the day. Looked around Norwich Cathedral. And that was about it. So that's my blog about my trip to London and Walsingham and the silly Methodist who only prays with one hand. Why are you doing a nice salute when well, you can praise with both? Okay, that's Toby's Blogs saying goodbye. Love you guys.